Today I'm going to show you um, several options uh, in solving a time series problem using QMQM forecasting method, uh, forecasting module. Click on the software to launch it. Go to forecasting. Click new. Time series. It is the same problem 18 that I will be working with. There are five um, data values in our time series. They are, and I can change the heading, AC sales is my Y variable, uh, 450, 495, 518, 563 and 584. I can choose um, weighted moving average. If I choose it, I need to uh, decide how many uh, periods I must average. Let's make it a three period moving average. I want uh, more weight placed on uh, the more recent data. So from uh, one period ago, I'll give it a weight of three. And from two periods ago, I give it a weight of two. And from three periods ago, I give it a weight of one. I could choose these weights to be different than what I decided right now. For example, I could give it a weight of five, two, um, f five, two, and one. That way, the most recent data in my analysis would be weighed the highest. Um, at this point, I'm ready to solve and I get several options. Notice that um, um, error as a uh, function of uh, alpha is no longer given because I'm not using um, single exponential smoothing. I can go back to edit, choose this to be exponential smoothing, oops, exponential smoothing, uh, change my uh, alpha to 0 0.7, give an initial forecast, and then solve to see, uh, and you can see this time now that error as a function of alpha is given as an option. That's because we're now using exponential smoothing. Um, I can also go back here. Well, actually, let's solve it again. You can see that um, the tracking signal uh, and how it's computed is uh, given to you in terms of um, the actuals. Here's the forecast. Here's the error, running sum of forecast error, absolute running sum of forecast error, cumulative absolute values, cumulative mad values, and then the tracking signal. All of these computations can be done by hand, of course. Uh, under Windows, uh, details and error analysis, Please note that when um, the MAD is computed, and here's the MAD value, when the R MSE is computed, and when um, MAPE is computed, uh, in this particular window, uh, notice that the first year went into the calculations. So the 450, which was our actual, and the forecast, which was our initial forecast, and the difference, that error between them, Went into, went into these computations. I believe previous versions of the POMQM software uh, did not include that first year. Uh, so depending on when you're doing hand calculations, whether you include the, that first year or not is going to make a difference in your final answer about MAD or MSE. We could go back, edit the data, and instead of 0 0.7, now I use 0 0.3 to see how our mat changes. And now our mat is 74.56 versus with 0 0.7, our mat is 46. So apparently higher values of alpha uh, do a better job for us. In fact, if you leave this 
field blank and solve, you will see that the best alpha will be reported. Uh, based on either MAD or MSE, the best alpha for this particular time series happens to be an alpha of exactly 1.0. You can go to the edit menu, module or button, and choose various uh, methods of forecasting. Um, multiplicative decomposition, additive decomposition, uh, all of those are included. Trend analysis will fit a trend line to th through the data. Notice that the forecast column already disappeared because now we're using uh, regression over time. Remember that with time series analysis, your dependent variable is always uh, the variable to be predicted, forecasted and the independent variable in time series analysis is always, always, always time. Now that we're doing trend analysis, click Solve. You will get for the next, um, uh, I believe, 13, 14 periods, uh, you get the future uh, period uh, forecasts. It says, it calls it the regression line, but it's using time as the independent variable. So trend analysis is truly regressing over time. It is a form of regression analysis and it uses least squares method in generating the trend line. The trend line here is um, air conditioning sales or Y equals 421.2 plus 33.6 times time. So the passage of time will be represented here. Correlation coefficient is 1, coefficient of determination is 0.99, highly correlated model, MAD, MSE, everything is here, very, very good model, much better than um, a smoothing model that we uh, use, much better, much better than um, the weighted moving average or single exponential smoothing or any of those models that we tried before. Looking at the graph, you can see the trend line, that's the blue line, that's our trend line, and then it's a highly um, uh, good fit model. Thank you for your attention.